ओम शांति टुडे इज द फोर्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट 2022 ट्वेंटी टू लेट इज लिसन टू दाकार मुरली ऑफ आ बिलवेड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू बिकम रूप एंड बसंत दैट इज एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ योग हु शवर्स नॉलेज द सेम एज द फादर इम्बाइब नॉलेज एंड योग and then donate to others according to their personality essence once again sweet children you have to become roop and basant the same as the father imbibe knowledge and yog and then donate to others according to their personality today's question is what system continues from the copper age a system that the father stops at the confluence age in answer baba says the system of bowing down to someone's feet continues from the copper age baba says here there is no need to bow down to anyone's feet i am abhokta that is beyond any effect of experience i am asochta that is one who is free from thoughts and akarta one who doesn't do anything you children are even greater than the father because children are the masters of all of the father's property therefore i the father salute you masters you don't need to bow down at all yes regard does have to be given to the young and old today's song is the reign of knowledge is for those who are with the beloved om shanti there is rain every year that is the rain of water and this is the rain of knowledge which happens every cycle this is an impure world hell it is also called an ocean ocean of poison and it is because of this poison this fire of lust that bharat has become ugly the father says i the ocean of knowledge make you beautiful with the rain of knowledge everyone in ravan's kingdom has become ugly i make everyone pure once again no impure soul resides in the incorporeal world no one impure resides in the golden age either this is now the impure world so the rain of knowledge is needed for everyone the whole world becomes pure with this rain of knowledge no one in the world knows that they have become ugly and impure there is no one impure in the golden age the whole world there is pure there is no name or trace of anyone impure and that is why they show vishnu in an ocean of milk people don't know the meaning of that you understand that vishnu is the dual form of lakshmi and narayan they say that rivers of ghee flow there and so there would surely be an ocean of milk also people speak of god vishnu you wouldn't call vishnu god it is said salutations to the deity vishnu salutations to the deity brahma you wouldn't say salutations to god vishnu it is right to say salutations to the supreme soul shiva you have now been enlightened the highest on high rosary is said to be that of shri shri 108 rudra at the top is the flower tassel and then there is the dual bead which represents lakshmi and narayan it is the family path vishnu means the dynasty of lakshmi and narayan they simply speak of lakshmi and narayan but they would also have their own children no one knows this you children have now come away from the ocean of poison that is also called kalida a story about a poisonous serpent that lived at the bottom of the ocean nothing like that happens in the golden age they say he danced on a snake and did this and that all of those are tall stories they continue to worship dolls out of blind faith they make many images of goddesses they spend hundreds of thousands decorating goddesses some even decorate them with real gold jewelry because they have to donate something to the brahman priests brahman priests are those who carry out the worship they make people spend a lot of money they create floats of the goddesses with a lot of splendor people also create images of goddesses sustain them decorate them and then sink them this is called the worship of dolls you can explain in your lectures to people that how worship how that worship is blind faith they even make very good images of ganesh 
there cannot be a human being with a trunk they make so many images etc they spend so much money the father explains to you children i make you so wealthy and the masters of the world the supreme soul sits here and explains to you souls you also know that those who studied in the previous cycle and followed shrimat will do so again if you don't study but just continue to tour around you will be spoiled you will not claim a high status i am now making you very wealthy with the imperishable jewels of knowledge those people don't know the meaning of shiva and shankar they go in front of shankar and say fill my apron however shankar doesn't fill anyone's apron the father is now giving you children imperishable jewels of knowledge you have to imbibe them each jewel is worth hundreds of thousands of rupees you have to imbibe these well and inspire others to do the same you have to donate them baba has explained donate them according to the personality in front of you don't waste your time trying to explain to those who don't have any interest in listening to you try to donate to the worshippers of shiva and the deities so that your time won't be wasted each of you also has to become roop and basant just as baba is roop and basant his form is not that of an oval light jyoti lingam but is like a star the supreme father the supreme soul resides in the supreme abode the supreme abode is the land beyond souls cannot be called the supreme soul that one is the supreme soul souls who are unhappy here call out to the supreme father he is called the supreme soul he is just a point it isn't that he doesn't have a name or form he is the ocean of knowledge the purifier the world doesn't know this ask them where is the supreme father the supreme soul they would reply that he is omnipresent oh you call him the purifier so how does he purify everyone they don't understand anything this is called the city of darkness baba has liberated you from everything baba is abhokta akarta akarta is one who doesn't do anything and asochta one who is free from thoughts he never allows you to bow down to his feet nevertheless that system has continued from the copper age the younger ones have regard for the older ones in fact children become heirs to their father's property the father says you are the masters of my property he salutes you masters although the father is the master the true masters of all the property are the children he would not tell you to bow down to his feet or to do this or that no when children come to meet him baba says remember shiv baba and then come and meet him a soul says i have been adopted by shiv baba people are confused by these things shiv baba adopts you children through brahma therefore this one is the mother you understand that you have come to meet the mother and father you have to remember shiv baba therefore this one is the first mother you receive the inheritance from shiv baba this one also stays in remembrance of him imbibe everything that the father explains to you become roop and basant If you stay in yoga, imbibe knowledge and inspire others to do the same, you will become Roop and Basant, the same as myself. You will then go back with me. You now have knowledge in your intellects and then when you go to heaven, the knowledge will have ended. The reward will then begin for the part of knowledge will have ended. These matters are very incognito. Hardly anyone understands these things. The father also explains to the old mothers Just remember the one and none other. You will go to the father and then to the land of Krishna. This is the land of Kans, the devil. It isn't that Kans existed in the land of Krishna. All of those are tall stories. They show that Krishna's mother had eight children. This is defamation. They have shown Krishna being carried across the river in a basket and that the river Jamuna then went down below. These things do not exist there. you children have now received light the father says forget whatever you have heard up till now the father says no one can meet me by having sacrificial fires and doing tapasya etc when a soul becomes tamo pradhan his wings are cut off the whole world is now to be set on fire 
when they make a holika that is a fire at holi they cook sweet chapatis in it that symbolizes the soul and the body everyone's body will be burnt but souls remain immortal you children can now understand that there aren't this many people or religions in the golden age there is just the one original eternal deity religion there bharat is the greatest pilgrimage place of all many people go and sit in kashi and think that they will now just reside in kashi they want to shed their bodies where shiva is many holy men go and sit there throughout the whole day they just sing the song victory to the ganges lord of the universe vishwanath ganga the water of the ganges cannot emerge through shiva people prefer to die on shiva's doorstep you are now on the doorstep in a practical way no matter where you may be continue to remember shiv baba you know that shiv baba is your father while remembering him we will go to him so there should be that much love for shiv baba he doesn't have a father or teacher of his own everyone else has that father is also the creator of brahma vishnu and shankar a creation cannot receive an inheritance from a creation an inheritance is always received by children from their father you children know that you have come to the father the ocean of knowledge the father is now raining knowledge on you you are now becoming pure all the rest will settle their karmic accounts and go to their own land there is the tree of souls in the incorporeal world here there is the corporeal tree there there is the rosary of rudra and here there is the rosary of vishnu then the smaller clans continue to emerge as the clans or branches continue to emerge so the tree becomes larger now everyone has to return home the deity religion then has to rule you are now changing from humans into deities the masters of the world and so you should have a lot of happiness that god is teaching you he is making you into the kings of kings with raj yoga and knowledge he is making you into lakshmi from an ordinary woman and into narayan from an ordinary man the sun dynasty will then go into the moon dynasty baba explains to you every day and continues to enlighten you you clouds come to the ocean to fill yourselves you have to fill yourselves and then go and shower if you don't fill yourselves you won't claim a royal status but will become part of the subjects try to remember the father as much as possible here some continue to remember one whereas others continue to remember another there are so many names the father comes and says salutations to the mothers people have even shown god massaging the feet of draupadi when old mothers come to baba baba asks child are you tired only a few more days now remain you can remember shiv baba and the inheritance while sitting at home the more you remember him the more you will become conquerors of sin if you don't make others similar to yourselves how would subjects be created you have to make a lot of effort you have to imbibe this and then make others similar to yourselves acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna two points first point use your time in a worthwhile way in every aspect donate to worthy personalities don't waste your time chasing after those who don't want to listen to you donate knowledge to the devotees of the father and the deities second point imbibe the imperishable jewels of knowledge and become wealthy definitely study each jewel is worth hundreds of thousands of rupees therefore imbibe them and inspire others to do the same today's blessing may you experience the father's company in the form of your companion in every act you do and become an embodiment of success blessing once again may you experience the father's company in the form of your companion in every act that you do and become an embodiment of success baba explains the easiest and constant means of having remembrance is to constantly experience the father's company the experience of his company liberates you from having to work hard when you have his company you will have remembrance but this company isn't company where he just sits with you 
for this companion means your helper someone who is with you can sometimes be forgotten but this companion can never be forgotten so the father is such a companion in every act you perform that he makes difficult things easy if you constantly continue to experience the company of this companion you will become an embodiment of success today's slogan in order to become a special soul only see and speak of specialities slogan once again in order to become a special soul only see and speak of specialities acha om shanti today we also have the invaluable elevated versions of mateshwari ji mama says whatever we see with our physical eyes we know that it is now the end of the iron age and that the golden age of deity world is being established in our eyes this iron age world has already finished the elevated versions of the god of the gita is children all of those gurus and holy men that you see are all already dead in fact we understand that the whole of the human community has all reached the iron age and that is why god's elevated versions are i inspire the destruction of this devilish world and am establishing the deity world this is why we can say that all are already dead we don't have any connection with this world do not see this old world as alive do the seven day course for the new world because the new world will be established and all of you will continue to live there so this world is not for us although people think that they will perform good actions make donations and perform charity and that they will then come into this world again and experience everything we know that this world is now going to finish so the fruit of this perishable world is perishable it will not last for birth after birth now just see how much difference there is between our vision and that of the world only when we have this faith can we have faith in the one who is teaching us acha om shanti